there, but uh, quite fantastic sailing. We saw about over 45 knots and about eight knots of breeze. How did the day go for you? Yeah, it was pretty good. We, we got out there, um, and not, not much breeze, so you know, we did a few tests um, in the harbour with no breeze and checked the sails went up nicely and then headed on out to East Coast Bays and, and had a nice sort of uh, five to ten knots and, and it sort of slowly built to a steady ten knots and and it was yeah good sailing conditions yeah and we, we saw at the end there we had a couple of pre-start practices I think three and obviously we don't know the times when the gun is going but going off the GPS looked like the boys were pretty dialed in after that pre-start you managed to get on the boat and, and sail at home how was that yeah it was pretty glamour yeah was yeah, that yeah. Your first time on the Sydney boat first time on this boat I've had a little ride on on the version one uh, last campaign but um, yeah, it was pretty cool to, to see the performance today, it was cool. A big step up from the first boat, it? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. That's, that's awesome. So in the hydraulics department obviously we've gone from uh, grinders to cycles. The pump arrangement, the, the, the device that moves oil around, is that the same from the grinder to the bike? It's a, it's a one design component for, for all the teams, okay. um, the pump for the cycles. Um, so all the teams have the same, same kit. Um, and yeah. Does it move more oil than the hand driven, the, the, the grinder driven pump? Or is it similar? Uh, uh, it's probably a similar amount. I guess we have got um, a different setup of, of cylinders on the boat because now the boats aren't runners. Uh, you're moving different displacements around. Um, but you know, it's all the same sort of same, same principle. principle. Same principle. So, with the one design pump, does that mean teams can choose their pressures? There are different displacements you can you can choose. Okay. And um, you're not going to tell us what yours is. Oh, it's really it's the best you can have, of course. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, you, there's a huge range that you can you can cater for your own design. Yeah. So you, so if you were uh, higher volume. Lower pressure, yeah, and, and vice versa. Yeah. Is how you the, the, that. the rule is 600 bar in, in the sailing circuit, yes, which is quite high, yeah, maximum. Yeah, maximum there, so, yeah. so all the teams will be pushing that, I guess. Yeah, so that's twice a twice a dive bottle, really, isn't it? Just over. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's up there. So we're obviously all carbon accumulators to deal with that pressure. Uh, there's a, a class um, accumulator which is titanium, um, and and yeah, that's pushing the pushing the boundaries, pushing the pushing the limits of what what it can handle. Yeah. Uh, so, for you, does, do you feel Team New Zealand's in a good position right now? Yeah, yeah, the guys are going well. I mean, we, we've been touch wood, had reasonably good main, uh, reliability up until now, and um, the guys are able to get some good time on the water, yeah. So today we had no breakages, no downtime for, for fixing or replacing gear? Yeah, no, it was all good we're today. All good. Yeah. Right, Scott, thank you very much for your time. We're, we are loving watching it, and to, to see them back at the harbour, you know, four times wind speed, it's quite special. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers.